Yeah. Heck, man. American Pickers ain't got nothing on me, man. Hello, junkers, resellers, dumpster divers, pickers, garbage pickers. What about a... <laughs> See, she is here. <laughs> she's out now. No, she's working. But, uh, anyway, man, today's video is actually kind of a flashback. Um, we're going through some footage and stuff, and it's when we went up. There's actually a video of it on uh, Idaho Hillbilly, but this is one, uh, one of my most favorite people in the world, man. And uh, when I went up to Uncle Earl's, and we done some good old real mountain junking and treasure hunting for rusty gold around his place up in northern Idaho and found this footage so I just put it together and I thought I'd share that so let's see what the heck is going on with them hillbillies there's that Toyota right there I gotta put some injectors in it but it's gonna be mine A little Toyota 4x4 van just gotta get the injectors I'm coming back here because it's got the old shop light. That's going with me. Look at the old panel back there. A lumber little chipmunk. Little cheapy monk. We'd loan this out. Somebody ended up running into the ground. Oh, yeah. But take it easy. Try not to load our van up too much before, uh, too much before we go to the dang storage unit. I did pick a bunch of stuff up on the way up here and kind of been goofing off for the last, uh, I guess we just got up there yesterday. It seems like we've been up here longer, but. I'm about to show the U Haul man. He's got, man, tons of old tin toys and trucks and just all kinds of stuff. And that bus. We're talking about loading up the bus. If you can see that Greyhound, it runs and drives, man. It's amazing. And, uh,. Talk about loading it up and driving it on back down to the homestead. We'll see. There's a light there, man. That's cool. There is. Treasures, baby. Lots of treasure. All right, man. We've been, uh, we were pretty much, uh, junk drunk. And we've got, just just shine back there. <laughs> Check out these killer blue, man, they're heavy duty. These blue bins are just packed full of stuff. And we got the blue bins there too. We went through uh, storage units and properties and barns and, and we still ain't done. You know, man, we're probably gonna have, probably coming back and, oh, we got a bunch of stuff going on in June, but probably end of June or, Right last week of June, we're coming back up. And we have uh, just been in there. Just crazy. Crazy amount. I've really been. Uh, my wife actually told me she was proud of me. She did. Good. <laughs> Usually he's taking coffee cans with nuts and bolts. Yeah, and there was bags. There was so much garage stuff, you know, that I could use around the property. Man, there's a stack of, in the one storage unit, a stack of, uh, which there's no way I could have took it, but probably, uh, I don't know, eight or ten, four by eight sheets of half, or, uh, three quarter inch plywood. You know, man, that's like 40 or 50 bucks a sheet. Flooring, that would have been good flooring for Miss Kitty's cook shop. It's just been, it's been absolutely amazing, and then you just spend time with one of my most favorite people in the world. Seiko 340. I should have showed you the damn shell. Is it ready to go? Yeah, no, you got a jack one. Look at this. Look at this missile. 
Sweet. And this is the embrace yourself, is what you're saying, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sweet. <laughs> that mother has got some freaking up. Oh. Wanna shoot it? I'm Just good. I am, shoot I am shooting. I am shooting. a little bruise or anything. You wanna shoot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is one bad boy. Look at that mother. Yeah, I'm curious to see the filming when I'm done. Dude, that thing is awesome, man. <laughs> That damn elephant gun. That's what it is. It's not a. The, it might not be. That head might not be sunk in there enough. Right. It's probably a problem. Yeah, it's already not there. Yeah, that's probably good enough. So you think it was the. The shell, oh the yeah, well there, these are reloads. These oh, are spendy. Okay. What are these a shot, man? Five bucks. <laughs> Five bucks a shell. Five bucks a shot. Holy yeah. smoke! That's not man. a plinker. And I thought my uh, 44 was bad. That is one pretty mother. This is Uncle Earl. He's nice. my fa one of my favorite people in the world. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome, man. Yeah, I'll probably keep that one separate. We should grab another. You want to go grab one? See if another one will jack in there? Oh, it'll jack in there. All right. All right. I don't know if they're going to shoot again. Yeah. <laughs> Are we all done with that one? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Unless you want to shoot us some more. No, I'm not. All right. Did okay. you want to shoot it, Miss Kitty? No, we'll find something else to play with. <laughs> Why you want to play with? 22. I just had to show some of the other fun toys we've been playing with. This is the supercar. 48 Pan. Yeah. Okay. Then the 48 Pan Ed over here, it's kind of a lawn ornament. For, na for now, <laughs> just good. just temporary. It runs good. Yeah. And then there's my Jack collection too. Yeah. You know, the Jack collection oh, should yeah. be known to the world. Yeah, so especially the bird. Yeah. The yeah. Air deck that I live yeah. in. When you had him on the other property, you had him up. Yeah. yeah. Look at that well, toy. Did you have a lot taller? I had to lick a lot of us. Yeah. Oh, that, maybe that's the one. Yeah, and and he was a driftwood. He wasn't a Jack. No, he was Like a lot of puss was wood. wood. Yeah. Did you have that one too, though? But I had saw, saw blades for the tail. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And there's that big metal car down there. Jacks and stuff down there. The handle of the jack. Did you see that pedal car right there? I did. Of course I did. People are going to die when they see that. Yeah. <laughs> that's all right. Six months ago, I had 10 foot of snow on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's still there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's made to be outside, right? You what? He's made to be outside. He yeah. 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 GMC bus, so I might as well have a 57 Buick. Tell me about this. Then, well, if I hadn't had, I have had for 40 years, and I got maybe a million miles on it. I've had it to Guatemala and back. I rode right straight from here from, to Guatemala and back. 12,000 mile round trip. How long did that take? Took six months. Hmm. Me and Sounds like fun, ran, right? He rode a Honda. And we had to ship it back on a in the van because it didn't make it. This did. There and back. Yeah. So it was made the same year you was born. Yeah, this is a '48, and I'm a '48, so we're both '69 now. That's I introduced us as we're '69 <laughs> when I rolled up right up. So we're going to this year, anyways. Yeah, this year. Yeah, next year we'll be '70. Yeah. 70 and 70. Yeah. But I've rebuilt this thing. I couldn't count how many times because I got so many miles on it. This is like the pedal way home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's pretty cute. I love this thing, man. Spit tanks. 
So, in all reality, this is truly the first Harley Davidson I ever saw. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, when it would be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's when true. When you were a little kid, yeah. yeah. When you'd roll up. Yeah. Is, uh, I used to work on this in uh, that garage there. Uh-huh, yep. On oh, Herbie? On Herbie, yeah. Herbie, yeah. Real. yeah. Yeah, it got lots of miles on it. If that's if that thing could talk, <laughs> yeah, the stories it could. You'd, talk, you'd, you'd have to shoot. I call a little liar. You'd have to shoot <laughs> it. <laughs> I did not do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's check out the uh, the white. The white. Oh, my fifty-five white. Yep. Unless you're gonna sit here and tell us stories about. Oh, that thing. That thing all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this here is a uh, convertible. Hard top convertible, way cool. Yeah, and, then the, and it yeah. does the, uh, what's that show called, or the transformer. Transformer yeah. car. Yeah. Yeah. And the Greyhound, I showed it yesterday. It's amazing. A little white. Yeah. Like Set up for white. living. I painted it about 15 different colors. And I still don't like it. Oh, you don't? No. You don't like the, the purple don't like yellow? yellow? You know, I had it blue and white once. I really liked that. So I like the purple. But, uh, what about? I, liked it. I had it OD green once. I really liked that. Oh, I think I would like that too, yeah. But, uh, the green, I think. got a really cool. 472 Cadillac in it. And, um, oh, I put all the lights across the top of it and then turn signal lights Turn the, the light up. Yeah, mm -hmm. these are cool. Are these these stock off for this? No, no. These, what did these come off of? Uh, something I took. I don't know what they. I got them off of something a long time ago. Oh, I don't cool. remember what I took them off of. But I liked them, so I got mm -hmm. them. They're glass. Yeah. Yeah. And they work. They, I set it up so the turn signals work on the top light. And now, sweet. Just loving that. Yeah. I put the brows on it. And, this is out of a motorhome grill. But, uh, I got uh, those 10 120s over there with the alloy wheels I want to put on it. And he's yeah. going to make it his daily. Make it my everyday yep, pickup. Everyday daily driver around. Yeah. Well, not town, but around, yeah. <laughs> around some towns. I'd like to put uh, some Cummins diesels in it Man, that'd be cool. from the Cadillac gas motor. But I've got a 55. Uh, Hemi back there. Oh, is that what the back? A, uh, 392 Hemi. And I thought about putting that in here. That'd be kind of, it's a 55 motor, 55 I'd truck. Say, yeah, why not? So I don't know. So, so got the old, uh, would one of you mind opening up the door for me? On the coffin sleeper. Yeah. Yeah, on the coffin sleeper. Yeah, this thing, I just, uh, man, look at that door. The whole thing is tight. It, it drives like that. And down there's where the motor goes. The cab pulls forward to work on it. How smooth the doors go. Yeah. Got some aftermarket seats, but that is for comfort. Comfort. Yeah. comfort. And dashboard. Everybody wants to see the dashboard. Came stock with a bench, didn't it? A bench seat in there? No, no, it had what they call a jump seat. Oh, that hangs off the side or whatever? Jump seat, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was a uh, standard transmission, it's automatic now. But, uh, Look at that door. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he sets that, yeah. it's amazing. It drives just like that, too. It steers and drives just like it's brand new. I'd really like to see it coming at me on the road yeah. because I would feel like it was the back end of a bus coming towards me. <laughs> yeah, Just the way that matter, yeah, that line like with yeah. the it does. window. Yeah. Yeah. The headlight, the whole thing. Man, I just love the things. It's funny. Did it come off a tractor or something? What? No, no, they're off of a truck. <laughs> man, I've never seen that style though. Be I've got a set that's uh, got these, and then there's a plate, and then these again on the other side of it, so it's uh, 
both sides. Oh, in. so that they put, sat out or whatever. Right. Oh, hmm. Huh. Huh. Then they're, yeah, they're just, and they're glass. And he, and he painted this himself. Man, he did do some awesome, awesome body work. The problem is he changes it all the time. One time he had a truck that was painted <laughs> one design <laughs> on one side and this a other different paint job. Was the, the most awesome Dodge uh, truck. What year was that one? It was 95. 95. Mm -hmm. And we came up here and went through it. I hadn't even really noticed, man. I've got the passenger side or whatever and we went in somewhere, come out and I'm all, well, your trucks, it's different on this side. He's all, yeah, that way they don't know whether I'm coming or going. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I did that with my Cor Corvette, too. I had that 54 Corvette. It was painted and down. It was different. <laughs> That's color. good, man. Yeah. That way, that way when Johnny Law's sitting there, you go yeah. by this way, man. Yeah. Yeah, it would be a dark car this way and a yeah. light car that I way. I love that. I'll never forget that, man. That was so damn funny. What else we got to show, man? We got all, you've got all kinds. Let's, we should go see some of the... Here's my alloys for the bus. Yeah. And, and oh, the, yep. The white, I would yep. put those alcoas on there. <laughs> Sweet. So we want to go over to that side yeah, of the property? Go, so you can go show okay. some old trucks. Okay. Oh, yeah, my... Yeah, about okay. That. Okay, so where are we at? Project here. It's a 1940 Pontiac. Um, I used to sneak into the drive-in theater in the trunk of that car when I was a kid. This exact car or one like no, it? No, this car right here. No kidding. Gary LeBaron's mom used to own this. Now that, that makes it extra special. Yeah. Oh, this is the actual car? Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I got this from Tommy Thompson. Oh, oh did you? you? Did? Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't know Old that. TNT? Yeah. Old Tommy. Yeah, I, I used to sneak in the... Theater in the back. No, get right. Right. That's awesome, man. And it's my next project. Oh. And I thought about maybe putting a Hemi in this, but I've got a 400 Pontiac motor back there with a three speed that I should keep in Pontiac. Right. Huh. But them Pontiac emblems that I showing you, I want to put them right on the top. And right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the, That'd be awesome. the, yeah. Yes. I'm glad you kept those. Just for, well, I guess you only have to find those other two, don't you? Because you have yeah. to have the one opposite to make the other direction. the same way. Yeah. So is the um, stuff in there for the car? That's all the old stock stuff out of yeah. yeah. The pieces. Except the front seat. Uh, <laughs> Tommy was actually uh, in Baker right now. Yeah. Yeah, they're having. These no, ones. not Tommy Thomas and Tommy Thompson. Oh, I guess I don't know. That's Tommy. TNT. Oh, I was thinking of. Tom TNT wrecking. Oh, to, okay, yeah. So Tom, where I got this car. Okay, okay. TNT, I ain't he seen him for a long time. Huh? He knew Gary and his mom. Okay, and okay. And those are parts for it too. Yeah, it's an experience, separate front end I got for it because I had it in the shed over at the other place, and the snow load fell on it and smashed it. So mm -hmm. and then I found this other front end for it. That's the hood off of that. And it's my next project. It'll get done sometime this summer, hopefully. I'm yeah, driving next fall. Your oh, yeah. mud bogger. Oh, it's my uh, mud bogger. Yeah, <laughs> the mud bogger. That's probably a project way down the road. Oh, yeah, this is uh, somebody else's project. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to mess with it. No, yeah, but it's awesome, man. Really, he'd love to be able to make this a uh, mud bogger. I tell you what, I'd like to do with this actually is make a snowplow out of it from Palma Drive. Oh, that would be fun. Because it's cool. uh, all set up for a stock Chevy six cylinder right up there, and it's all wheel drive. It's uh, pneumatic steering. Man, it'd make a heck of a wow, man. This cow's pretty. And then the old car is uh, Model T, yep. as far as I know. It could be a, something other than a Ford, but I, I think it's Ford. Stuff, man. There's just sitting on there. Rusty gold. Yeah. Out here. Okay. <laughs> well, I showed out here yesterday. Well, I guess yeah. He's this is like a Cadillac here. Yeah. Part of one. But, uh... That looks like a futon. 
Let's swing. Did you see the rabbit? That's re reclaimed wood underneath that tarp. Okay, say again. I was Brand yucking. New cat motor. Oh, yeah. That I was gonna put in my white. Oh yeah. But then I learned about this motor and. No, it's not so just, it's not, yeah, I don't want to put it. Don't waste the time putting it in there. No, it's a dumbbell. It's got a nice five-speed transmission behind it. All for sale. All for sale. Yeah, all for sale. That's right. Just That's send right. us an email. Yeah. Yeah, everything. Well, not everything, but a lot of the stuff you see here, we're junkers, man. Everything's for sale yeah. for the right yeah. price. And that Austin of England right there, it could be a rat rod maybe someday. Yeah, that'd oh, yeah. Be awesome. Oh, you've actually got to sit in here, Kitty. Okay. It is. I sat in here yesterday. Yeah. And now that mother is comfortable. Yeah, pissing me out about getting in there. Yeah, he's running. This is the one, I, like I said on yesterday's video, that I want to buy. It has real seats. Yeah. I was expecting it to have yeah, like it's comfy. Mazda seats. This is a nine passenger too. It's got yeah. the other two seats that go in the back. See, I want to turn it or do a camp, you know, set it up as a little motorhome, you know, yeah. thing is what I want to do. Yeah, it drives and runs great. Golf over drive. It's got to get the injectors. I'm doing yeah. it. Yeah, just need the injectors. I'm a doing it. Are you even priced or anything? Huh? Are you even priced injectors or no. anything? About? No. See, I think it's been. <laughs> I just think we what year is it? Phone say 89, 88, 88. Remember, well, we got that on video. So yeah, I, like that. I don't have I to like remember. Guys, I'm gonna call. I want to. If I was gonna more material for I'm building. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, he's saying, there it is. There it is. There's my old panel. 36 Ford. One ton panel. Used to belong to a railroad. See, that's the emblems like that, the V8 emblems. You had a bunch of yeah. those. Yeah. So those, and those weren't in that bucket. I got a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them right here. Oh, this. really? There's three or four different hoods and front ends in there that's got them emblems on it. But I mean, when we were out. Yeah, I had something. All I mean, I remember you specifically I buying it. Yeah. yeah, and not and not the the tin type like this so much as I mean, you had some heavy just the V8. I've got the remember yeah, the, somewhere you got the V8 them. ones. They're up 38, and then the, some that are just the Ford oval without the V8 in it. And see, after 32 is when the V8, you know, Ford came out 32 the V8, and then start putting that on. You're definitely missing, you know, unless you traded them or I think you just pulled them and put them aside or somebody just somewhere somewhere else. say, yeah, or somebody stole them. Two sets of hoods just right here, and then the complete two or three more front ends right there, and running boards and everything. And then the, this the old fender, the old bumpers that had the drop in it for the spare tire. Right, right. Actually, not the spare tires for the crank in the front. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's the only place that that good was in the front. Okay. And they used to use them on all the other. Oh yeah. I got six or seven of them in there. High, high, highly sought after bumpers. Old bumpers. It's got some bad two damn clogs. I've got a fire brood uh, swap me. Man, I keep them right out there. This make a nice rat right Oh, it'd be awesome. Cool. Make an awesome, uh, make turn that into a little motorhome traveling rig, man. Yeah. If you had a, You'd have a nice oh, sunroof. Oh uh, yeah. I've seen one of these in Australia. Be awesome. That uh, they took the top off of it and made a bus out of it, a touring bus, where it had oh, oh, yeah. the double sides, yeah. Yeah. and they used it for touring. Huh. It was the same that. truck exactly. I had that with the brother to it. It was the half ton. I just sold it not too long ago. I sure shouldn't have. Get it. You were right down the stock hubcaps and everything on it, with the rings and everything. 
Yeah. Well, you've gotten rid of quite a few, man. Yeah, all, a lot. Three, all the 34 yeah. Chevys that I had that I got from Gibbs Place. I sold all of them already. The DeSotos. Yeah, the, the old DeSotos. The Nash, just sold the Nash. Yep, yeah, just sold that 32 and a half Nash. Yeah, usually, I think last time we were up, you had probably 30. Or 30 old cars up yeah. there at the last one we were Yeah. Yeah, I got rid of a lot of them. <laughs> I still got that Jaguar though, that V12 Jag. Oh, do you mm. really? Stashed yeah. somewhere? Yeah, it's uh, down in Rathen. This would be cool with that V12 all set up in it. Yeah. That'd be, look, that'd be cool too, all four wheel drive with a winch on it. That'd be great. Really, yeah, 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 man. That'd be real big meat right here. Yeah. yeah, I think. No matter what you did to it, it would be cool. Yeah. I'll love that. I love them rat rods. These wheel is uh, hanging on. There's an old truck model. wheel. Model, it's a Model T or old? No, it's a truck wheel of some truck kind. Wheel. You know, it's, you know, and it sells wire wheels back there. Yeah, I was just checking those out. There's a full set of those. There's their uh, MG uh, for the like the knockoff. Oh yeah. There's no lug nuts, just the knockoff and Wow, well, yeah, I see that. That's cool. I got a whole set of those going. Oh, to sell them. That'd be worth uh, 250 piece. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> if we took them in and had them powder blasted and everything, they'd be worth 500 corner. And that's for the MG? That's what there is? The yeah. MG? <laughs> MG and the Jag, all of them. It was a brace, loose, really? loose group units, you know. This is a Jag independent brand over there. It would be a good hot rod we were in. Oh, you got a bunch of old windows, too, man. Yeah, lots of old. Yeah, that's it. <coughs> I'm using it in my greenhouse. Oh, a whole stack of them. Oh, yeah, I've got more than another stack over there by, by the motorhome, too. Flowers. We better do something with Yeah, it looks like yeah, you got, got a, name on it, yeah, it sure exactly. a little yard sale set up out here or something. Yeah. Well, I'm buying. <laughs> Shopping? I'm, well, I should say I'm selling. I'm cleaning that one there. That's nice. Unless that's one you wanted to keep. Bro. Here's a, is that a Honda emblem? <laughs> I think it looks like it. They're no, like that's it. Anchor Hawking. Is that He's the anchor? Silly, oh, yeah. it is the anchor hockey. <coughs> Here's a, oh, how's your stand on Oh, that one's good. Too. This one dead chickens. Yeah. Yep. Those were hot for a while. Yeah, they were. That's a pretty one, too. Opal bass. See, now this one, this is probably going to irritate some people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, some people, I can't believe you left that crap outside. There's a bearing, man. Holy smokes. Shop put that, man. Yeah, that's a bearing. Yeah, it is. I better grab that chicken. If you don't, you're gonna get home and you're yeah. gonna go, well, I probably should grab that chicken. Lots more than that. Yeah, is this thing ain't got no chips or nothing on it? Very good. Yeah. That was duck. It'd be in ducky. Is that metal? No, it's wood. It's a real duck. That's one of your treasured items. Uh, this one, though, that's opal glass. Yeah. Look at the fire in that. So that one, uh, yeah, I'd probably get all the way back and freaking homestead. I can't believe I left that chicken sitting there. That's what we do. See, he even, he even shops his own place. Mm -hmm. Look, he's got a handful. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, wow, what am I, why did I set that out here? The anvil? Did you say something about the anvil? No, he what said you got a <laughs> You have a handful. A handful. Oh, handful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't bring up the anvil, man. I almost need a truck just to haul that thing. 
I went to pick that up, man. That what is that, two fifty? Oh yeah, probably at least hundred. Oh, I think it's more than hundred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went to pick it up. I'm thinking it's more than hundred. I'm about to pick a scan my butt. There's an old Schwinn. I seen that. Yeah, there's a couple of Schwinn bikes and then that one laying on the dirt down there is an oh, old yeah. cruiser, old, uh, man. I got the Springer front ends for him too. For that one particular one there. Now you can see it. Yeah, what'd you, did you leave those? You had that, uh, just like a mountain of bikes. Yeah. Did you leave all those on that property? Yeah. I kept, uh, the best, better choice ones? Yeah, over, uh, over my bus, there's a motorcycle parts in it. Yeah. It's got a couple of them most spring frame bicycles in it. Man, there was, uh, that one pile, there had to be 70, 80 bikes in it. Yeah. Oh, and them tires, too. You ought to be able to get something out of those brand new. Yeah, film those, yeah. Those tires. Some of the stuff CDs we could still in the U ship would be a good way to. Mm hmm. That would be get, a... Actually, get down there so you can read that. Even just so, even if I don't put it on the video, just Four for my. 8 by 18 or 8 by. 8 by 13 or whatever. Four ply, 818. It's good to have my camera because then I can get in there, you know, kind of. I could, I mean, I could list them from right there. You know, put them on Craigslist yeah. or whatever, and uh, right, you know, if they sold, grab them next time or pack them up and just we'd run them down to the mm -hmm. thing or you ship, but UPS or something wouldn't be extremely bad. You'd think no, you'd you can get a, a a a pallet rate instead of a package yeah. rate type of thing. Oh, yeah, I'll start digging. Yeah, this is... This is so, uh, yeah, his this load is, out yeah, of the units. Yesterday out of the storage units I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. yeah, this ran. Yeah. That's a nice frame. Did you paint that? No. Yeah, somebody did. Hey, well, love seat, love swing seat. And all that lumber too. Yeah, I'd have to say that um, our homestead is just a very small scale of I'll what's going on it. here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. he's actually, this ain't Because he's got, the, like I said, the under the tarps is building materials yeah. for started, the house. Because well, that's his, what, his is organized. Yeah, the house that you see in the background up there is, yeah, he's building it from reclaimed. But I got to pull all my nails. Material also. Oh, so this, yeah, that's so what this is. These are all rough cut. Pull links in each of the piles. Maybe I'll start Schwinn 10 speed. Oh yeah, that's pretty that emblem on the front of the was more than the bike. Yeah. yeah. That's all pretty fine now. But this like a 1960 that one is? five model, yeah. Oh really? When it so came out with Continental, that was the first one. Huh. So you come out with the 10 speed the very beginning of 10 speeds. Right. That's one that's the premier right there. Really? I wonder which Schwinn Continental. Hmm. Hmm. That I did not know. But this, uh, what you've seen around here of his stuff, which we got still got another area, but is nothing. He's, uh, he's down, this is way downsizing. This is probably, what, quarter of what you had? Like I said, he had at least 30 cars. Old, all classic, amazing, amazing stuff. My wife don't, but this is what I inspire to have. <laughs> Woo, want... man. That was such a blast. That was a wonderful trip, man. That uh, dug through, I think it was seven, um, which we didn't show that. And I wish, and when I was actually, when I came across this footage, is I thought I had footage of uh, us at the storage units. And I must have lost that because I know we filmed a little bit at the storage units. And then we went out to some other properties. And and then, you know, the footage that I did have was when we were actually at Uncle Earl's place, man. And, you know, man, it was, it was a complete blast. And we, we didn't end up making it back up there. Like I said in the videos, we were planning on going back up, you know, a month or two later. And we actually headed back up there. And um, if you watch the Idaho Hillbilly, which you can go over there and check that out, please subscribe while you're over there. But... Um, on our way up there, we got over 
to Grangeville and the Chevy Venture van broke down. We ended up, it was 110 degrees, man. We ended up sitting out there with that van for like 10 hours or something. It was a nightmare. And I did some videos when we were sitting in the in the van there. So then when I finally got it hooked up, you know, we were closer to uh, um, the homestead than we were to Earl. So we ended up just having it towed back in here. Actually, my son-in-law came. We put it on a dolly and dollied it back here. So anyway, man, I hope you enjoyed that, man. That was some um, real down-home uh, treasure hunting, hoping hoping to bring, we were just talking about here a little bit ago with the GoPro and stuff, really looking forward to getting rid of this snow so we can get out there and do some of that and take you all along with us with that. So please uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share this channel, man. Trying to build it up. It's slowly but surely. I'm still working on doing, planning a giveaway. Make sure you get over to mountainjunkers.com. Um, we're changing things daily. and We're working on some other things. And now we're trying to figure out how we can go ahead and start getting some other people on there. Maybe to, uh, so we can start, you know, doing a little selling and stuff. We're having some technical difficult. well, not really, but just, uh, um, going to change some things of how we are doing. Miss Kitty's coming over here. Come on, come on over. You can sit right here on my knee. No, we're trying to um, be creative with our um, process of how we're going to do it. So right, so that's, technical yeah. Technical difficulties. It's creative. Yeah, mind yeah. It's, it's, it's hillbilly difficulties, man. Because, I mean, what we're seeing in our heads and stuff, we're not quite able to, uh, you know, put out there. So, and I'm trying not to make it like a store. And I had somebody ask me today, what the heck is this? You know, what is this site? Is this a chat room site or is this a, you know, a store? And I'm really trying to stay away from the store. But as we're going along here, uh, you know, maybe, you know, I don't know. It's, we're still working on it, man. So hang tough with us. We're not only, it's only been on for, um, I think, almost two weeks. And... That's a lot of dang work getting that thing up and going. We want everything to run smooth, so we're still working at it. So make sure you get over there and check that out and sign up for that. And anything you got, Miss Kitty? Not today. <laughs> Not today. So uh, always remember, man, keep your eye on the skyline and your nose to the wind. If you're out there treasure hunting, I hope you find some color in the bottom of your pan. See ya.